What is up Cobra Kai fans? Welcome back to another exciting Cobra Kai season six related video. It's a very exciting time to be a Cobra Kai fan as the first five episodes of season six drop in just about a month and a half. And that leads myself and many other fans questioning and wondering what exactly is gonna happen in these first five episodes. What's gonna be the main overarching and side conflicts that are gonna take place to keep everything interesting? Because season five ended on pretty much a high note. We saw Terry Silver's Cobra Kai be officially taken down down. We saw more of a friendship begin to take place between Daniel and Johnny. We saw bitter rivalries begin to take an end with Miguel and Robbie. And we even saw the seed planted for Sam and Tori to actually get along for once. So judging based on just that, it seems like there isn't a whole lot to really cover in the first five episodes. But a lot of you may have noticed a couple of dangling plot threads at the end of season five, like with Chris escaping from prison and Kenny not being so quick to actually talk with Robbie about everything that happened. And you best believe those are going to to play crucial parts in the first five episodes. The first five are definitely going to focus on the aftermath of everything that happened, the culmination of the first five seasons, and specifically the season five finale, as that's the most recent thing that's happened. The students and the senseis are really going to be reeling from everything that happened, with the dojo brawl at Silver's Dojo, the brawl at Terry Silver's Mansion, and Daniel and Terry Silver's ultimate rematch, which resulted in Daniel LaRusso being victorious. Seeing the characters go through this and seeing their characters' thoughts and emotions regarding this whole thing that's mostly going to be covered in the very first episode similarly to season three of cobra kai in the very first episode aftermath but i don't think that's going to last very long just like season three did the overarching theme of this first five drop is going to be focusing and preparing on the sakai taikai as that's going to be one of the main climaxes for season six but some conflicts and things are going to need to happen to really test our characters and put them in an uncomfortable place starting out with kind of an obvious one is tori's is going to be joining Miyagi-Do, along with the rest of the Cobras that were initially a part of Terry Silver's Cobra Kai. That's going to be a challenge in and of itself, because a lot of the current students in Miyagi-Do are probably going to be a little bit hesitant, just like seasons in the past with old Cobra Kai members joining the fold of Miyagi-Do Dojo. And I think specifically Tori is going to have a really tough time adjusting, and Sam and Tori specifically still have a ton of baggage that needs unpacking. Yes, they did team up for that very brief period in the season 5 finale, but that was just because they had a common enemy. We'll see that now that Terry Silver is no longer a factor at the current stage of the season, that'll really put Sam and Tori's dynamic to the test and if they can actually get along when they don't need to take care of something together. Another thing that's going to be needing to be handled is the whole situation with Kenny. Robbie tried to confront him and talk to him at the aftermath of the Cobra Kai brawl in season 5 and Kenny really didn't want to hear it just yet. And it kind of left that whole arc and plot point kind of open for Kenny and Robbie. And from the set photos and the new trailer that we just got right around a month ago, we know that Sean is going to be getting out of juvie eventually especially in the first five episodes and he's going to be really questioning his brother like how did that whole thing with your bully pan out was robbie able to actually help you he's probably going to notice right away that kenny's going to be a little down in the dumps and i think kenny's going to come clean about everything that's happened he's not going to straight out blame robbie for everything but he's going to say that Robbie did this and Robbie did that and that led me down this path and that led me to do this. And Sean, with not knowing the whole context of everything that Robbie actually did have Kenny's best interest at heart and he did realize that he screwed up at certain points in this journey, he, it's still going to piss Sean off and Sean's a very quick tempered guy. We saw that especially with season three, he wanted to tear Robbie's head off when Robbie literally not, did not do anything to him. So now he's got a reason. He messed with his flesh and blood. He messed with his family and it's not going to go well. So the fight between Miguel, Robbie, Sean, and Kenny is definitely a first step in the right direction for Kenny's relationship with Robbie and the rest of the dojo. But I think it's going to be a little bit rocky at certain points until we eventually get to that point where Miyagi does indeed join Miyagi-Do like we do see at the end of the trailer. But now what's the culmination of this first five episodes going to be? John Hurwitz did say that each five episode part is going to be like an individual season wrapped into one. So what's that going to be? It's got to be epic, that's for sure. We don't want any filler episodes. Other than the minor conflicts, I do think that certain aspects of these first five episodes are going to be pretty tame. We're going to see some of our students go to actual college visits where we're going to see them brawl with a bunch of frat punks. I do think the conflicts are going to be challenged with the dynamic of the students, like I said previously, but I think it's going to be minor for the most part. And then things are going to really change course real quick when something is realized and that John Kreese has escaped prison. He didn't actually die at the season five finale when the detective told him about that he was killed. 
it's actually going to be revealed that he did indeed escape prison and that he's going to be competing in the Sakai Taikai under Cobra Kai with Sensei Kim. Cobra Kai is back. I'm really going back and forth on whether I think that's going to be something that happens within the first five episodes or if it's going to happen right at the end to set up the second part. But I wholeheartedly believe that that's going to be the ultimate turning point for these first five episodes heading into the second part. And it's really going to kick things up a couple notches as we enter into the second part. But guys, that's the video I have for you today. Those are my thoughts on what's going to happen in the first five episodes that I've deciphered from the previous season, the trailer footage that we got and the all new photos. But leave a comment down below if there's anything that I could have missed that could be really integral for these first five episodes. I definitely like reading all your comments. You guys always bring up great insight and you point out things that I may have missed when I'm talking about them in my videos. So. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure that you're a subscriber to my channel if you want to stay up to date with everything when it comes to Cobra Kai Season 6. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.